All right, oh, here we go. So we're good to go. Hit me a thumb up. Audio good. All right, let's go look at uh, crude oil. Um, I'm going to go over what we're going to be going over in the conference call tomorrow night. I'm going to put uh, gold next to crude real quick. All right. These are our trend charts. We have uh, gold in a downtrend, gold to the far left right here. Mark it up with a little arrow. We've had a nice little couple cell setups this morning since uh, the midnight, I mean, after midnight for the session. There is a cell set up based upon a full retracement. I'm going to go over that in a second, what we look for. And we had another cell set up right here, if you look at it. And we're in the third cell set up as we speak. So this is the algorithm that we're going to be getting out to you guys and gals. It's uh, no additional charge. It's for those who lease the program. I'm going to show you what I built into it. We're going to be going over that in a conference call tomorrow night at 5 p.m. So 5 p.m. Eastern, we'll go over it. I want to go over what we're looking for as far as the new algo that comes out. In fact, I'm going to show you that real quick and go over what we're going to be going over tomorrow before I get started here this morning. So if you noticed, what we'll be going over tomorrow, what I added, um, we already had uh, all this built in for you already, but I added a couple uh, new things to the chart. If you look under Delta now, um, you can actually get signals that uh, that go off of Delta after you get a Fibonacci retracement. It will then look at Delta to confirm. You can put in, as you can see, you can put in whatever time frame you want for the Delta to confirm. So in other words, I can look for setups off the trend chart, and then I can put in a 4 sim Rinko on a smaller time frame, half the time frame of a 9 sim, and it will look to execute trades only based upon a smaller time frame market delta for smaller stops. All right, so that's what I did add in for you. Um, so you can actually, if you don't want to use delta, you just unclick it altogether, and then it will get in on a Fibonacci retracement when my... Uh, momentum trade or my retracement trade has occurred and then you can put in the number of tar the target ticks one two trailing stop stop loss uh, your entry offset would be uh, your order entry I'm gonna go over all that stuff tomorrow I'm gonna break all this stuff down tomorrow for you I don't have this video too long but I'm gonna show you this mo I also added a momentum indicator what a momentum indicator is is it just happened on crude oil a second ago on that low, when we got that low at uh, 65 over there, 65 to 95, that 30 tick run up, that was a momentum trade. And I'll show you if you have that toggled on, what a momentum trade is, and when an arrow will fire. So we're going to go over the guts of this tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern. I will record it. Just heads up on that. Um, we will be getting this algo out to you. You can back test all these setups. As long as you want, you can go back a whole year if you want. Um, whatever you want to do, it looks at once you plug your parameters in, you can actually. Uh, I'm going to show you how to back test this and see what the best optimal setting are settings are going to be per market. All right, so that's the algorithm that we're going to get out to everybody to help you and assist you guys in your trading. Let's go over the setups, um, what the guts of the algorithm looks at, and what I've included in the algo that you're going to be getting is that if you look at the bottom indicator I put in, I actually added this to the, the algo we'll be getting out to you. This is a full, this is, shows you a full retracement. So that's very important on the trend chart because the trend chart, it'll let you know when we got possible setups, buy and sell setups. The best way to do this is we've had three big opportunities since midnight on gold. Let's make this very simple. Don't make this difficult. Trading does not have to be difficult if you know what you're doing. So right here, we have three solid retracements. What's a solid retracement? You see where those arrows are I pointed to on this bottom retracement indicator. If my moving averages, remember moving averages are worthless by nature, but they're great for trend direction. 
if they're in a downtrend, see my smalls below my intermediate, intermediate below the larger MA. So you're trending down hard. If you look when you first get above 90%, that means you're at a possible full retracement and you want to look for a sell setup right here. Right there at that swing high. And that actually caught when we had a uh, a market delta sell that caught the high of the market. Then the market comes down and it comes down to this level. <laughs> You're not looking to buy this level right here at the low. We're at a full retracement down here at the lower end below 10%. But you're not looking to buy that because you're in a downtrend. You want to look for a retracement back up. My indicator caught it. My trend chart. The beautiful thing about this trend chart, the Renko bar, it works a heck of a lot better than minute charts, tick charts, share charts. Those things are not very accurate range bars, not very accurate compared to my Renko bar because i got a trend filter built into this Renko bar. That's why these oscillators work really good with it. So... If you look, when it got above 90% again, you're looking for a sell setup. We had negative market delta right at the top again, and it called the swing high again. So then it comes back down. We get down around 30%. We need to get above, again, 90% because we're in a downtrend. And since we're above 90%, what we want to try to do is we want to look for another sell setup. Sure enough, negative market delta on this last sell that's rolling right now caught the swing high right there too so I've actually got this built in to the algo you're getting so automated arrows will fire off for you on any given market as far as that goes okay so just heads up on that that's what we're doing so that's the basis of it it's really easy to see. It doesn't matter what you trade. I mean, what, what you look at. If I'm looking for a buy setup, you look for the opposite. You'll look for a full retracement on the trend chart here. And as you can see, positive market delta came in here and popped the market. It's just the same. And this works on all markets. It's a pretty cool indicator. Um, so if I look on crude today, it doesn't matter what you trade. It's the same setup. Same exact setup. If I look on crude, and now this is the nine sim Renko, this is our trend chart. If I look on crude oil, it's had two buy setups. We're in an uptrend, small MAs above the intermediate, intermediates above the larger. Not hard to understand. We're at a full retracement here this morning. We had positive market delta right at the low, market explodes. Then we come down again. This just happened here at 745, and we're going to start trading. We're at a full retracement. Touch right at my 10%. I know I'm at a full retracement. And then positive market delta caught the low. All right, so that's the 9 sim. Remember, this is a larger time frame, 9 sim Rinko. What you can do is you can trade off the smaller time frame too. The smaller time frame works great with my Fibonacci arrows. And I got a lot of great compliments from this last week from traders trading the system on nailing some trades on this setup. This is a 5 sim Renko. This is almost half of the 9 sim, smaller time frame. Same concept. I got two MAs on here. I don't have three because it's a smaller time frame. I got two MAs. MAs are crossed up. I want to try to get full retracements. If I look right here, I'm below 10%. Right there, look for positive market delta. It caught the low. Right there. Went up a little bit, went down below 10%. This actually caused divergence. Equal low, higher low. This oscillator will show you divergence too. What that means is, is that you had a higher low in oscillator and a pretty much equal low in price. So. Um, but that got below, needless to say, that's 10%. Had a positive market delta there, market rolls up. All right, the beauty of the 5SIM with the arrows is now it got the down here, it got below 10%. Market is in an uptrend. That arrow automatically fired, and it got the move up. Here. We got below 
Look at that. We have no positive market delta. So you don't take the trade. So right now we're waiting on a trade set up as we speak as far as that goes. And the same thing works on gold. If you look at gold, and I'll be, cut this off in a minute, Gerald. But look at gold, same concept. Doesn't take the smartest bear in the woods to realize where the sell setups are. There's my full retracement. I'm in a downtrend since midnight. There's your sell setup. Oops. Negative market delta. Caught the high. Full retracement here. Negative market delta. Oops. Another full retracement. Here. Negative market delta. Caught the high. Another full retracement. Negative market delta. It's on gold. Caught the high. Another full retracement. Caught the swing. Then things shift, right? We start shifting up. MA crosses up. Sure enough, my oscillator picks it up real good. Caught the low. So you can see the rhythm of this thing is beautiful. Really good rhythm. It really gets you in a nice retracement. This is actually built into the algo that we're getting out to you guys and gals. Okay? So we're going to go over that tomorrow. We've got a conference call tomorrow at uh, 5 p.m. Eastern, but that's how you get in full retracements and how to pinpoint on all these markets. doesn't matter what market. This works on all futures, all stocks, all currency, works on indexes, works on ETFs, works on, actually, we have traders that use it for options, OEX options, whatever you want to use it for. That's how we line things up.